Hi scholars, welcome to a reading lesson. Today we're gonna to do a reading lesson inside of our Red My Shared Readers. So go get your red workbooks. It, I don't have, I don't have mine with me, but um, it kind of looks like your math one, but it's red. So go ahead and grab that. If you need to pause the video, you can. When you're ready, go ahead and come back. Okay, before we get started with our Red My Shared Readers, we're gonna take a look at what we've been studying and reading all about meeting our needs and our wants, right? Things we need are like food, water, clothing, house. Those are things that we need. We have to have them, right? Things that we want are things that we don't really need, but maybe we'd like to have it, like ice cream. You don't need to have ice cream. You want to have ice cream. Or maybe it's a new, um, a new case of slime or something like that. You don't need slime, you want slime, right? So there's a difference between things we need and things we want. So our big idea, ding, is why do we make choices? And as we read some of our, um, some of our stories, we talk about different things we need and, and we want and how we make choices to decide which ones we need and which ones we want, right? Let's go ahead and look at this picture here. This is a picture of fruit. Do you think that's something you need or you want? Fruit is something you need. Clothing, is that something you need or something you want? Need, you need clothing. What about a kitten? Is that something you need or something you want? Want, you don't need a pet cat. Maybe you want a pet cat, but you don't need it to survive. What about this cool new bike? Is that something you need or something you want? That's something you want. You don't need a cool new bike, but maybe you would like to have it, so you want that. Very good. Okay, go ahead and open your Red My Shared Readers and find this page here. It might be on the next page over. You're gonna have to flip the page. Um, and it has this boy sitting on the floor looking at a box. Go ahead and take your poster, your bookmark with you. All right, so I'm going to read the story to you and then we'll do an echo read, okay? Um, before we get started, I want you to take a look at the picture. Take a look at the illustration. What do you see? Don't tell me one answer, make it spicy. What do you see? I see. I see a boy and he's sitting on the floor and he's holding some sort of box. If I look at the box, I can see it looks like um, maybe like a telescope or something cool on it. Um, I also see wrapping paper on the floor, so maybe he's opening a present. I also see a, space, a spaceship, a rocket, and I see, I think, Legos. And I also see um, some sort of a list here. And I know it's a list because it has, it's not sentences, it's just words underneath each other. So that's a list. Good, okay, so I predict that the story is about a boy opening gifts. Maybe it's his birthday. The title is A Birthday Wish List. So what do you think it's about? A birthday wish list. Do you know what a wish list is? A wish list is a list of things that you wish to have. Um, not necessarily things that you need, but something maybe that you want. So a wish list might be, hmm, for my birthday, I want um, a new Nintendo game, slime, uh, Frozen 2 on DVD, Barbies. That is a wish list. Something I wish to have, and then I give it to mom or dad, right? We made wish lists for um, Christmas for Santa Claus, remember that? We listed all the things that we wished we could have. Now, I have a question. Are those things that you need or were they things that you want? 
Those are things that we want. Very good. Okay, I'm going to read first and then we'll do an echo read. Here we go. A birthday wish list. Max had a great birthday party. All his friends were there. Before the party, Max made a list of things he wanted. After the party, he checked his list. He got some things, but not all. However, Max realized that the best thing he got was having fun with his friends. And it wasn't even on the list. Oh, that was sweet. So he had a birthday party and he made a wish list of things he wanted. And he got some, but he didn't get all of it. But he said that the best thing that he got was having fun with his friends. And he didn't even have it on the list. How special is that? Okay, ready for an echo read? Get your finger ready, blow on it. Put it underneath the title in purple. Remember the title's the name of the story. Here we go. A birthday wish list. First sentence in black starts with capital M. Max had a great birthday party. All his friends were there. Before the party, next sentence, or next line, Max made a list of the things he wanted. After the party, he checked his list. He got some things but not all. However, that means like, but, Max realized that the best thing he got was having fun with his friends. See that little dash right there? And it wasn't even on the list. Do you know why we said that so excited? Because there's what? An exclamation point, right? That tells us that we're excited or we're yelling or we're shouting, right? <laughs> and it wasn't even on the list. <laughs> so that's how we're supposed to read it, okay? All right, go ahead and get a pencil because we're going to go on a letter hunt. And the letter that we are looking for is, ooh, this time it's going to be tricky, 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 tricky. You're looking for the letter X, but the word does not need to begin with the letter X. It can be in the middle of the word. So find words that have the letter X in them. The letter X can be in the middle of the word. It could be at the end. It doesn't matter. Go find letter X and circle it. Here we go. A birthday wish list. Oh, this has an X and Miss Paulino said it doesn't have to be at the beginning so I can circle it. Max had a great birthday party. Find the words that have an X. Circle the whole word. There's one there. Oh, I found one, two, three. Did you find three? Good job. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go on a word hunt. Safari cap song. Oh, sorry, I thought there was a bird outside on my balcony. It's a beetle. <laughs> okay, we're going to find the word T-H-E and underline it. What is that word? T-H-E. The, the, the. Good. Underline the word the. Go search. T-H-E. Make sure you're checking in your book. The, the, the. Mm, 
Hmm, I wonder if I missed any. Let me double check. I see a lot of H-E's. That's he. Okay, I found one, two, three, four, five. Five thus. Did you find five thus? Count. Good job. All right, let's write the on the line. Now, I see all your wonderful work in the photos that you're sending to me, but I did notice some of your letters are beginning to go up and down and up and down and up and down. But we remember we work really hard in the classroom to make sure our letters look right. Okay, your tall letters are tall and your short letters are short. All your letters sit on the floor. Some go into the dirt, right? Some of your letters that I've been seeing in pictures aren't sitting on the floor. <gasps> and I'm not there to help you, but you know. Miss Paulino always tells you, make sure your letters are sitting on the floor. Some are really tall, some might go in the dirt, right? All right, for the word the, T is tall. T takes up all the space, goes from top to bottom, and crosses in the middle. Can you make sure that yours is sitting on the floor and it's tall? For your H, your H is tall, it goes to the floor, right, and it's a little rainbow. Make sure your rainbow goes back down to the floor, please. And did you see that Miss Polina made a little rainbow? It didn't go all the way up high. That's way too high. It's a little rainbow. And my E, uh-oh, and my E, <laughs> my E, is little too and it sits on the floor. Okay? So make sure your E sits low. Now, my E is not floating up in the sky. It's not up at the top. It's all the way at the bottom, right? Make sure you're watching your letters. I am so proud that you're doing all this work on your own at home. It makes me so happy. But I also know that I always tell you to check those letters, right? And you have to remember that still. Because when you go to first grade next year, you have to remember that. All right, very good. So the should be pretty easy. That's like one of the first sight words we learned, right? All right, on the side over here, let's draw something from the story. Um, so here's the boy opening a present. So I'm gonna draw a present. To draw a present, I'm gonna make a 3D present by using a cube. So, oops, starting with a square, put a dot in the middle of your square, make another square that's low. Remember, this is how we make cubes. Connect my vertices, connect my vertices. Whoa, that's a cool gift. Now you can color it in if you want. You can, um, You can put a bow on it. I'm gonna put a bow. To put a bow, I'm gonna make an oval over here and an oval over here, kind of like bunny ears. And then I'm gonna do a diagonal line and a diagonal line. And it looks like a bow. To make it even fancier, you can put a big T in the middle. To make it look, oh, to make it look extra fancy, put a T at the top, put a T on the side, to make it look like the ribbon. And you can even color it in. Let's do. Now yours, oh, I keep doing that. Yours is gonna be way better than mine, I think. I hope, I know, I know it will. Way better than mine, ooh, oh. okay, change colors. Anyways, go ahead and draw whatever picture you want. I would love if you could send me a picture and put it on Dojo because I really wanna see that you can do your letters the way I expect you to, the way you know how to do them, all right? Okay, I will see you. Let me check what video I'm making next, okay? One second, I have a picture. 
I will see you in, oh, the next video I'm gonna make is showing you how to read your decodable books at home. Your little tiny gray books that you picked up from Hanson, okay? So I'm gonna guide you through your decodable book. And then today, no math lesson. There is no math lesson today. So um, I will link uh, the Google Drive so you can practice adding and subtracting on a worksheet. Um, or you can practice your counting to 100 by ones, fives, and tens. Remember, I put the video on last week on Dojo so you can scroll back down through Dojo, have mom and dad help you find those videos, and you can listen again to your ones, fives, and tens. Okay, so you could do the worksheet or you can sing your three songs. Up to you. Also, today we have PE. So for PE, I'm linking Go Noodle. Woo! So you're going to watch a Go Noodle, yes? And then I'll also link some animal movements you can do. But I think the Go Noodle will be fun for you today. Don't forget to write your, your sentences. You have two or three sentences. I just put five fingers up. Two or three sentences. And you can use the writing prompts that are on Google Drive. You have just our our usual writing prompts about morning day and night there is the april writing prompts that has some easter in it and they have some spring writing prompts three different prompts that you can pick from that are on google drive okay mom and dad know how to get there because i link it every week got it Ooh, see you in the next video bye bye